Hi guys, do you have any problem? No problem. Everyone has a problem. Every group faces one. So does our library. A problem will be a problem if we don't handle it seriously or we're not smart enough in finding a solution. Do you know that a problem can be solved with a deviance? Right, a deviance! With this particular deviance, a solution will come before our eyes. Sounds cool, right? Solution before our very eyes. So we don't have to waste energy seeking for one. I'm talking about a positive deviance. It does deviate, but in a positive way. This kind of deviance exists in community owned by those persons or institutions with unique or unusual behaviors. But don't get me wrong, in fact, they usually find better solutions compared to the ordinary ones. We will learn and adopt their strategies. We will apply them to other people and institutions so they too can reach success. By the way, this positive deviance approach has assisted lots of people and institutions. We can also use it to overcome obstacles and challenges that our library is facing. For example, how to increase community access to computer and internet services, how to do advocacy, and how to address communities' need. The aim is to develop library as sustainable information and communication technology-based community learning center. Therefore, Indonesia Coca-Cola Foundation through Perpusuru Program, supported by Bill and Melinda Gates Foundation, <clears throat> this is big, huh? Facilitated a workshop in March 2014 to identify a successful strategy. The strategy that positive deviant libraries used in tackling problems while developing their libraries. What is actually the deviant strategy that's proven to be successful in developing libraries? Do you want to know? There are six steps, or simply called six Ds. First step is define. We need to define what are our problems in developing the library. Then we need to define what do we expect in the future. In order to define, we need supporting data or facts that we can rely on. What data and facts? Lots of them. Here are some examples. Internet penetration coverage. The amount of budget allocation for the library. Which libraries do have computers and internet services for the community? Which libraries have activities to facilitate community needs? Especially for the youth, women, and micro-entrepreneurs who are the target of Purpusru program. And then, based on those data and facts, we can identify whether or not there are gaps between data or facts with our objectives. The gaps are our problems. Based on the workshop result, we can find out our root problems. Community engagement activities, particularly for the youth, women, and micro-entrepreneurs, is not optimal. Community access to information, technology, and communication is not optimal. Budget and support from decision makers and relevant institutions is not optimal too. It's also in terms of advocacy. Not optimal. After we found out what the problems really are, we can pursue our expectation. And what are they? Yep, you certainly expect to optimize the advocacy community access to computers and internet services, and community engagement activities, right? The second step is determine. With this step, we will determine the positive deviant library, meaning we have to determine which library that's using the unique or unusual strategy to overcome their problems while having the similar challenges and resources with other libraries. 
What are the criteria of positive deviant library? Purposuru program has three criteria. First, in terms of advocacy, the library can increase its additional and annual budget, increase their number of partners, increase their supporting assets used to provide computer and internet services. Second, in terms of increasing community access to computer and internet services, the library keeps on increasing infrastructure and facilities to support its services. Library also conducts regular training on computer and internet, particularly for their youth, women, and micro-entrepreneurs. Lastly, in terms of community engagement activities to facilitate community needs, the library conducts sustainable computer and internet-based activities. They have various activities, particularly for the youth, women, and micro-entrepreneurs. And then, the third step of positive deviance approach in library development is discover. What to discover? Discover the success strategies of positive deviant library. What are their strategies? To find out, we need to inquire the strategies and practices they have applied. We can do the inquiry using following methods. First, focus group discussion or FGD. Second, in-depth interview. After we find their strategies, we need to analyze by selecting which strategies are positive, unique or unusual, applicable by common libraries. In the workshop, this analysis was done by partners of Purposru program. Guys, indeed, from that analysis, we found several strategies of positive deviant library, which are positive, unique, and can be applied by common libraries. They are, the libraries conduct training on computer and internet for the dropouts and disabled children. The library's leaders and staffs visited community directly to identify community needs which can be facilitated by the library. The libraries built partnership with internet providers to increase their internet bandwidth. Our next task is to share what we have found with other libraries. Therefore, the fourth step is to design and implement the intervention before we disseminate to other libraries. We can design training and mentoring for the library staffs. After participating in training and mentoring, we, of course, expect the staffs to be able to apply such proven strategies to develop their own libraries. So these steps are practical. Yes, practice, not merely theory. In this step, we actually are developing a living university as a place to learn about library development for Purpose Through Program. The fifth step, discern. Are we sure that these strategies which are applied in this living university can be successfully applied in any libraries, we need to test it through a series of monitoring and evaluation, of course. Through monitoring and evaluation, we can identify which aspects are needed to be strengthened, improved, or even abandoned. Then, we have a tested model. Step 6. Disseminate. Guys, we should not keep the success stories for our own. We have to disseminate them to libraries all over the country. But how? We should encourage others to use strategies tested in Living University in developing their libraries. Guys, thanks to this positive deviance method, now you can say goodbye to problems which require behavioral and social change because you've found the solution. Therefore, 
we can accelerate the efforts to develop libraries as information and communication technology-based community learning center, and at the end, the quality of community life can also steeply improve. Guys, let's support libraries' development to have positive impact on community quality of life. Also, to improve quality of library services. Keep positive, keep the spirit!